Welcome, everybody, to Midday Magazine for this February, uh, Friday, July 19th. No, we got to start that over. Welcome, everyone, to Midday Magazine for this Friday, July 19th, 2024. Have your host, James, behind the mic, and I am joined by our great friend, Lacey Ailing, Events and Engagement Director with our Heart of Wisconsin Chamber of Commerce. Lacey, we're getting together on a Friday. It's a little weird. I know. We're definitely throwing it off a little bit, a little but excited bit. to be here. And it's fun to be able to promote some of the weekend events and some things that are going on in the upcoming week. So it's kind of fun to be able to do this on a Friday, change it up a little bit. Um, we appreciate all the work that you and your chamber members do uh, and, and this community does together. And we're really getting excited for uh, some upcoming events. We've got the 41st annual Lucky's Golf Outing coming up. That is an exciting one. I want to dive right into that, Lazy. Yes. Yeah, so we will be there on Tuesday, so Monday afternoon the chamber will be closed as well as Tuesday for us to be out at that golf outing. Um, I definitely want to give a shout out to Lake Arrowhead for um, allowing us to use that course. Um, and then as well as the Diamond Sponsors, Anderson O'Brien, Cranberry Court, Ho-Chunk Gaming Nakusa, Hotel Mead, Key Savings Bank, U.S. Bank, Mid-State Technical College, and ERCO. So many people uh, come together to make these events happen, and in particular these golf classics that we have and the different golf events going on. I want to send a big Thank you to all the businesses and all the community members coming together for this one. Do you guys, uh, are you guys good with volunteers? Do you need extra hands or anything for this one? I think we are set and ready to go. We're we've kind of getting everything ready today right now for raffle baskets. Um, if someone has a raffle basket and they want to bring it in, we are there uh, until four o'clock today. Um, obviously, it's a great way to get your business out there, um, your name out there um, for kind of a relatively smaller um, investment. So we are out there, but we are we're. We're going to be excited, and I'm, I'm already warm, so I'm, yeah. I'm hoping that we can control the weather a little bit and really excited to be at Lake Arrowhead on Tuesday. Uh, from what we're hearing, uh, looking like 80s, you know, looking like nice weather, so it should be uh, good golfing weather out there. That Perfect. should be a lot of fun. And uh, going to see some fun outfits out there. If I yes. know One of the few things I know about golf, going to see some great outfits. And uh, we do want to uh, send a big thank you again to Lake Arrowhead and so many of the people coming together for this event. One of our favorite events all summer long is Lunch by the River. We we got a couple of good ones coming up, Lazy. Absolutely. So I, 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 we had a wonderful time yesterday, obviously, with it being on a Friday. It's it's weird. I'm like, I just was there. Um, but yeah, obviously, huge shout out to the community theater. They were wonderful yesterday, um, as well as the Boys and Girls Club that brought down a lot of kids to yeah. come and, and come and see it. Um, and that was it was just great. So it's, that was that fun. was successful. That went really yes. well. Yes, it went great uh, yesterday. Happy to hear that. Uh, as you know, I, I love that theater. It's my second home. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I love our chamber when those worlds combined. It's it's a benefit for all of us as a community. Uh, hopefully, we'll see more of that in the future. Absolutely. Um, yep. I, I know Gretchen was excited about it. And yes. I know that how you were talking about it building up to it. So great to hear that it went well. That's, yes. that's very cool. And then we had the gaming trailer for, one, for Wandering Games. So kids could go in and play Xbox One if they wanted to get mm. out of the sun for a little bit. Nice. Um, as well as there was Nintendo Switch games. And then we had our KC Twist Balloon Twister there. Um, as well as the Humane Society brought out Cowboy, who is mm. looking for a home. So... Definitely thank you to everyone that made it a huge success yesterday. Um, a lot of people, the sun was, uh, the sun got me a little bit, but <laughs> it was, it was really, really great. We've got uh, a couple of, uh, all Lunch by the Rivers are special and unique. Uh, we've got a, a couple of really important ones coming up and one of them right around the corner on the 25th. Yes. So we have um, Jackson Taylor. He will be our live entertainment there. And then that date sponsor is Marshfield Clinic. Obviously, our presenting lunch sponsor is Embridge. And then our Royal Flush sponsor, Crockett Septic. So definitely huge shout outs to them. Um, as well as the one after that is going to be August 1st. And that is Kids Day. Um, and well, it's really just off the bus, but we're going to we're having a whole bunch of kids thing, kid things to do mm -hmm. there. Um, so co-sponsors United Way of Southwood County and Adams um, counties as well as Erco, and then entertainment um, is going to be we're going to have the Wisconsin Conquerors and then the Park Institute of Taekwondo and Fitness so mm. they're going to do some stuff in front of everybody and we're going to kind of split it in half to where half of the you know half the time is going to be one entertainment and then half so we'll see how that goes this will be the first time that we've done that um, since I've been there so really excited to have multiple entertainment um, as well as families there from both and I think it will be really fun um, just to kind of get these kids out active as well as you know breaking boards having fun yeah. kind of showing you what you know other things you can do in the community. 
Yeah. Oh, it's a great idea. A, a really nice, again, tie-in of all these different local businesses or nonprofits coming together to be able Absolutely. to do something like that. That's going to be a blast. And I do want to remind everybody that August 1st, Lunch by the River is, of course, as Lacey said, stuff the school bus desk. Uh, I had Terry in earlier today from the United Way. We were talking a little about this. They could always use some volunteers, some people to help separate these uh, great school supplies that this community comes so forward for to help out with. And they are still collecting supplies as of this interview. Yes. And uh, it's still taking registration up until August 1st. So if you are a family or if you know somebody of a child that could use this, please get them to sign up at uwswac.org. And if you are able to give, uh, whether it is a notebook or a backpack or a cash donation, it's one of the greatest investments in the future you can make. I was one of these kids. I was one of those that did not have a school year that I started with all the supplies. We moved around a ton. And I can tell you, uh, when we don't uh, when we do not do something about these things, your kid could end up in radio. Uh, no, I'm, I'm just joking, but it, it, in all seriousness, it is something that is a great investment in our future and a great thing that the United Way can do. So even if you are not unable to maybe buy supplies or give a cash donation, I do encourage you to maybe volunteer, help out with your United Way, especially Lunch by the River. It's a great combination. You're yes. down there, get some food, take in some things, help out your community a little bit. It's a complete win-win. Uh, something that you guys with Lunch by the River have masterfied and just done so well of bringing uh, attention to things while also people having a great time with some great food. Absolutely. And we are a location for drop-offs for Stuff the Bus as well. So definitely come in if you want to just drop off a notebook. Um, if you just want, you know, come in and kind of talk about it and hear a little bit, learn a little bit more about the United Way and the things they have to offer. We would love to talk. I loved hearing, I saw her this morning at Starbucks too. Um, but we were both, we were both on our caffeine, like we're, yeah, we're on yeah. a mission right now. Um, so definitely <laughs> come in, check it out, Lunch by the River. We're really excited for these next upcoming dates for that. So please come out 1130 to one o'clock um, every Thursday. Gather by the Gazebo also coming up next month. Looking forward to that one. Yes. Yeah, so our presenting sponsor, Visit Rome, it's going to be our season sponsor showcase. So we had a lot of great sponsors during the season. Um, so I thought it would be a good idea to just recognize them and the time that they've put in coming out every month, um, as well as the, the games, the little things that they've been giving out, their swag, um, and then just making sure that Rome has a you know place to go and gather um, you know on a, a Tuesday night. So it's not it's typically a little bit less, you know, less of something going on um, in the area. So definitely come out. Klein Creek is going to be our entertainment. So that's Garth and Becca. So it'll mm -hmm. be like a little duo. Um, and that's, I'm, I'm excited to have a guy and a girl singing. Yeah, yeah. Um, we, typically it's been primarily uh, male entertainment. So excited to have a girl. And then Chatterbox Catering, love Kathy. Um, always, always so great at jumping in when I need her. Um, so that is going to be at Realm Town Center as well as we'll have Casey Twist for balloon twisting. And then the Adams County Humane Society um, did bring out two dogs last month and they will bring out um, whatever they want to bring. I told them bring anything. You have a porcupine, a baby deer, a goat, bring whatever you want to yeah, bring. Yeah, yes. um, I am perfectly okay with it as long <laughs> as it's looking for a home. And so I'm hopefully they can come and bring. I, it's, fun. it's so fun when they walk yeah. around. They had a Dalmatian and that dog, it's like, I think you just automatically know the breed for certain mm -hmm. breeds. So that one, um, and it was really, really friendly. So definitely excited to have the Humane Society have more of a presence um, at these local events. It's another one of those, again, combinations that you, and, and they've been doing this for decades over at Lunch by the River, but yes. I really feel like you have really gotten a hold of and really taken the initiative of, of combining these things. It is Lunch by the River. It is Gather by the Gazebo. It is Rendezvous in the Park. Any of these events, you find a way to have fun, enjoy some, bring some local food trucks in or some local vendors in, while also, hey, the Humane Society, why don't you guys come on down? We got room for you. Hey, local theater, we got some room for you. I just admire that. I really appreciate it. I know I'm not alone. And I've heard from community members how much they enjoy these events with those added on add-ons. Yes. And it's been even like a, it'll be my shameless plug to community, uh, my community leadership group, because I was in it with Gretchen. So I got to know her um, and I got to like learn a little bit more about the community theater. Um, and you know, with their even their stand-up, their improv, the things that like I've never went to any of that, and I'm 35 years old, and I went to my first one. She was like, please come. And so then I was like, oh, this would be so fun to have, you know, Shakespeare, but like a today's version. So it was so funny that it was like yesterday when they were doing it, that the kids were like, just run away with me. So it was like, it was like modernized, but still, it still yeah. had that, you know, like, and the they're so brave. I, I love that, like, when I'm up there, 
I'm nervous just telling them, you know, telling everyone, you know, thank you for coming. And I only have to remember like a paragraph. So to remember yeah. all of your lines as you know, you're in such a crazy time being, you know, a teen. And I, I just give them so much, so much credit. But I was in it with Gretchen and I definitely loved her as well as the Humane Society. Um, obviously, a huge passion of mine. Mm-hmm. Um, so to have them down there and then Alaska ended up actually being adopted by a community um, leadership participant oh. that was with me. So That's having awesome. him come down there um, and then having him connect with Alaska, a deaf pet that was looking for a home, like I literally, it like gave me goosebumps because I was just like the fact that I, that the fact that I was able to like, you know, be a, like I know both parties and I really, really worked really hard. Yeah. It's like, I felt like a little matchmaker. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, yeah, really excited. I love the community leadership um, um, and I just being a part of it, I've made so many connections with people in the community and I'm able to then share that with everyone else. So it's been great. It's a great plug to make because uh, yes. when we throughout the year, when we talk about that or that group and that that program, uh, these are the three part of the one of the bigger mm-hmm. highlights we have of the connections you can make that you might not make otherwise. We've yes. got a busy town and busy people that don't always get a chance to run into each other. Uh, be encourage you to look into that and uh, sign your team, your cla- your uh, um, employees up for something Absolutely. like that one. And a great idea with the uh, season sponsor showcase. Yes. Really like that. Also gives an extra, uh, you know, a tip of the hat to these businesses. It's a really smart idea. That's fun. Rendezvous in the park. You know how I feel about this one. Yeah. Uh, we love this one, and it's coming up as well in August. Yeah, so we just had that on Wednesday, um, so two days ago, and I would love to see that grow. So if you can come out, even if it's just to come out for a little bit, um, come and talk to come and talk to me, learn about things in the community. If you have anything that you'd like to see, that's also a great place to come um, and definitely come talk to me. Ho Chunk Gaming Nakusa, I guarantee they're going to give away free play. Just a just yeah, a little definitely. reminder. Um, and then Jacoby Custom Cues, they will both be down there for our date sponsor. Um, obviously, the city of Nakusa is our season sponsor, and we will have um, a a lovely live entertainer, which I know some people are like question about polka, but they are big in like the polka, the folk type music. And I'm really excited to have something a little different. Um, we've never had polka there since I've been there. So I'm excited to kind of have that type thing. Like I grew up, my mom always would make me poke in it with her. Um, and <laughs> it's one of like the, like, even though in the moment I was like, mom, this is embarrassing. Don't make me do this. Yeah. It like when I see pictures of me and her doing it, there wasn't like, I didn't have a lot of pictures of us growing up Mm -hmm. and that is something like where we're both smiling and Mm. we both, it's not like, Oh, we're smiling for a picture. Like we were genuinely in the moment. Um, so I'm excited to have them there and I'm, I'm really excited. Obviously we have, um, the lions are going to be giving away complimentary food too. Mm. So a free dinner, some polka, you know, it's a great location down by the water. Um, you know, go for a walk and just spend some time with family, get out, um, before they go back to school. It sounds like a perfect Wisconsin evening. Right. Like like you, you hit, Right. All the marks right Polka there. Polka and yeah. brats yeah. and sauerkraut, you know, the Nakusa Lions Club. Yeah. 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 A, you're just fun. missing a Packer game. Like, that's I know, right? it. That, that's all that you're missing. If someone could bring energy. cheese. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> uh, that's great. That's a fun one. And thank you for sharing that. That is a really cool memory. I, I, was, I was imagining that. That sounds really cool. Uh, we are speaking with our friend Lacey Ailing, Events and Engagement Director with our Heart of Wisconsin Chamber of Commerce. And Lacey, we've got some upcoming workforce program and events that we were going to touch on. Uh, and, and another one of these highlights we have with our chamber. Absolutely. So I've, I've kind of talked a little bit about community leadership. So that's getting kind of a rebranding. So now it will be the ACE, so Advancing Community Education. Um, and then I did share that it is going to be accredited now through MidState. Um, so definitely excited to to have those changes. I still have that community leadership. I mean, we've been doing it for, for quite a while. Um, but just to have some impactful changes um, to where we're staying current and relevant and people can still grow um, in this. So I'm, I'm really, really jealous that I didn't get to have it when it was accredited. But um, just from talking to some of the people that I'm that I'm hoping are going to sign up this year to do this, I think it will be wonderful. I think that obviously I've been able to network with people and help do- find dogs a home. Um, Trisha from Family Center, she's actually my neighbor, which I didn't know that. Oh. Um, so now I walk by and, and like cat call her and I'm like, nice. ooh, pretty lady when I see her. <laughs> um, so it's just nice. And she's also came to lunch by the river. Um, and as well as Chaston from, you know, Paper City Savings, he's came down to visit mm-hmm. and then we've got to talk and he's like oh introduce me to the sponsor mm-hmm. and it's so nice when you have somebody sometimes this can be a little bit intimidating to go up to someone yeah. by yourself um so i think just having like oh i know you will you come with me so just kind of have like a partner um but i've seen a lot of faces that were a part of stuff from my community leadership now 
coming to this event mm. because they know about them. Yeah. And even though you live here for a long time, there's things that happen or there's businesses that have came or there's different events that we're doing. And we definitely need to be, you know, marketing them and marketing ourselves and marketing this, you know, this area. And we want it to be Wisconsin Rapids, you know, a community where family, you know, you're living here and people are staying here. So um, definitely check out ACE. Um, registration is open. They are looking for some sponsors from different categories. Um, but I think there is no better way to show that you care about this community than doing something, than sponsoring something mm -hmm. like this, because you're showing that you believe in this community, that you believe in leaders being from this community. Mm -hmm. It's not you're having to pull, you know, these Fortune 500, you know, yeah. execs. You can you can find someone here um, and then just give them the tools and then kind of just set them free. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's it, 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 Nicely said. It's one of those uh, opportunities that we have in this community that we highlight and we appreciate so very much. Because, yes, we talked about the the chances of running into making connections and some of that. Um, but uh, the, there we couldn't have enough leaders. You know, and, and any good leader out there will tell you that they could always improve, that they could always be better at their job. And here is an, a golden opportunity to not only be able to do that, but as I said, uh, make connections with uh, people that you might not otherwise make and certainly find out more about your community. Uh, it can only make our community that much stronger, our businesses that much better, which makes our economy better. And it just is a, a beautiful domino effect that this great program has had for many, many years. Cannot encourage you to know, uh, enough to uh, sign your employees up for this or maybe even you yourself uh, be a part of this. Lacey, if, and, and I, real quick, I'm sorry, I, real, I wanted to shout out Midstate again. I know we talked about this last time, but man, I'm with you. That is pretty cool that Midstate is doing that. And this is, can be a credited thing. If you're a young yes. person, if you're a college student, if you're looking at going into college or anything, another great reason to do something like this would have been anyway. But then with that add on to it, absolutely, boy, that is a nice addition. I don't know many college students that are turning down credits, uh, absolutely. Es especially for something, if I could be honest, a fun way of earning those mm -hmm. credits and a very cool, unique way of doing it that's a big shout out to mstc for that lacy if people do want to know more about this if they do want to uh, pre-register sign up uh who can we call who can we contact yep that's going to be laura laura bonner ridgeway our workforce and economic development director and that is workforce at wisconsin rapids um, or by phone at 715-423-1830 um, and obviously we're building better leaders for stronger communities and you can't lead people beyond where you are which i will say at every single one because that is firmly what i believe and and I mean, the course is going to have a little bit more of a focus on those power dynamics, as well as different leadership styles, communication styles, and how to have that win-win relationship with your employees, with your staff, with your bosses, and just, you know, just making it stronger for our mm -hmm. entire, you know. Wood County. Yeah, well said. Uh, we've got a couple minutes left, Lacey, as we're wrapping up. Wanted to mention Coffee with the Chamber, uh, one of our favorite events. That's coming right up uh, next month, uh, or at the end of next month, it looks I like. I know, it's crazy. I just saw Matt yesterday. He was, he's was he been walking around Lunch by the River. Um, and Kyle, obviously, they've been a, they've been a huge bad advocate of Lunch by the River and coming out there and having their own booth about our up dumb, uh, you know upcoming economic development, as well as the master plan, um, and then just some changes that you want to see. But um, I think this one's huge with Coffee with the chamber um, obviously august 28th from 8 30 to 9 30 um caribou coffee is our lunch or our call lunch sponsor they should sponsor lunch too but <laughs> our coffee sponsor for the day um and they've been really wonderful at sponsoring a lot of different things um so definitely um check them out and then um, obviously free for members ten dollars for non-members but perfect place to um you know, obviously appropriately ask those questions about the mill, about selling stuff. I know we've been, there was something in the paper um, this week about selling some of those um, larger tools and things in the paper mill. Those, like those questions, that's where it, it should go here. It should yes. be a coffee with the chamber. Yeah. Um, obviously the director of community development, Kyle Kearns, he's going to have a lot of answers, updates. Um, obviously, what are we doing with these buildings that are now owned by the city? Mm -hmm. What are we, are we, you know, are we tearing them down? Are they, are we trying to solicit other businesses to come in? Um, obviously, I was part of community leadership mm -hmm. where we talked about this stuff for a whole day. Um, but if you weren't a part of that, you're, you may not know some of the updates, some of the businesses that are coming in, um, obviously what's going on by Home Depot. Um, there's a lot of things that are happening in our area where some people are like, they're, they're not doing anything. There's nothing mm -hmm. happening here. 
here. There's no growth. Um, there is. It's just you may not know about it um, or it just may not be, you know, being shared where you're getting your information from. Yeah. Um, so definitely check that out. You can register online. Um, it's obviously virtual um, as well. So please come down. Obviously, we have a back entrance that you can get through. Our front right now is closed. Um, so take kind of by the Aspirus. Um, I think that would be the, probably yeah. the best way because there's also construction by the rafters, which mm. is where we would connect before. Right. Um, so definitely check that out. But obviously speakers, Matt Zacker and Kyle Kearns, um, I think it'll definitely be informational for anyone that lives in this area and wants to know what's happening. Yeah, and we appreciate how uh, available Kyle and Matt have been throughout this process and really th- as they will be going forward. They they are, are community members. They want to hear from you. Yes. Treat them with respect, uh, act like adults, and get, bring your questions to Coffee with the Chamber August 28th, 8.30 to 9.30 over at Caribou. I love Caribou, by the way. Great place. Uh, I wanted to mention as we wrap up in our last minutes here, Lacey, uh, a Chamber update and certainly July's Member of the Month. Yes. So obviously we have chamber cash um, available, one for 10, three for 20. That is Assumption Catholic Schools um, and $1,850 total if you total up each date from the 8th to the 27th. Um, And so that it's going to be obviously quite a bit of money if you win. But even if you do win, you go back in um, and you can win again. So huge shout out to Assumption and our, you know, Ho-Chunk. U.S. Bank, Socor, those are each $250 gift certificates. Um, and it's one for 10 and three for 20. You can purchase them at the chamber, at our events. Um, there's also a mail-in option, so you can go on and download that and then just send it in if you're not able to um, to come in. But definitely um, find me above everyone else because I'm the <laughs> one telling you this. Um, so you heard it from Lacey. And definitely um, find me. I'm usually at Lunch by the River um, selling them down there or walking around selling them or gather rendezvous. Um, obviously, we'll have them at our golf outing. But that is um, closed to the, you know to the public. But any event that we have coming up, reach out, find mm-hmm. us, and Get in on the yeah. calendar. And a business we talk a lot about here uh, on WFHR, they sponsor our birthday and anniversary club. Our friends at El Cafe are July's member of the month. Yes, I've already went there, I think, twice this month. To eat. <laughs> um, I love Fidel. I love the Facebook. Po- the, there was like a Facebook post of like his face, but in like a tons of different people's Yeah, it's great. Bodies. I saw that. It was great. Um, but I, I love how he, I just love how genuine he is mm-hmm. um, and just how you can ask him anything. When I went there, he was in the back cooking. Um, He was also helping the waitresses as well as wiping down tables. Um, And I think that there is something to be said about someone who not only are they, you know, they're leading, but they're also, they're not, I, I, the, the humility that he has and the way that he will jump in. I just admire any kind of boss that will do it with you that will alongside, not just, you know, tell you what to do, but do it with you. Um, Couldn't agree more. I have more. huge respect for, for mm-hmm. him, and I, I love Fidel. Support those that support us. Buy local. Support local everybody. Uh, all these different events that we've been talking about with Lacey, attend as many of them as you can. And find out more at WisconsinRapidsChamber.com. Reach out to Lacey and her staff at WisconsinRapidsChamber.com. Be sure to follow them on social media as well. Not a great, not only a great way to keep up to date on things, but you can share these posts on Absolutely. your social media, and you just never know who might see them that wouldn't otherwise. Lacey, thank you for the time. You have a great weekend. Thank you, too. Well, a more Midday Magazine for you next week. We do want to send a shout-out to Pam Hilke, the amazing scheduling she does week in and week out. We appreciate you, Pam. You guys have a good one. We'll talk to you sooner than later right here at WFHR Locally Grown Radio.